Welcome to the Inventis Harp tutorial video series. I'm Nicole and I will guide you through the future and use of viral diagnostic audiometer. On Harp, speech audiometric exam is available via air and band conduction or through free field output. A word list can be read through a microphone or it can be played directly from the internal memory while looking at the words on the display. During this video we will have a look at available settings and how simple it is to carry out a speech audiometry test. On a harp keyboard you can clearly identify three regions including buttons with functions relative to channel control and settings, general shared settings and communication between patient and operator. Additionally, for speech audiometry there are four keys dedicated to the control of the playback of speech materials stored in the audiometer's internal memory. The four buttons on the upper part are function keys with different purposes depending on the exam screen. Red and blue buttons are relative to the selection of the ear under test. Red for right and blue for left. Press both at the same time for running a bilateral test. Transducer selection is done by pressing the output key. Push it to change from air conduction to bone conduction to free field. Press the input key to decide whether to play the speech material from the internal memory or from an external source, or to say the word directly into the microphone. Prior to continuing with the settings, we need now to check the speech input initial gain, so to be sure of effectiveness of the dialed intensity. Press the gain key to set the initial offset according to the speech input selected. The ideal situation is when the VU meter reaches the zero value. Intensity level can be modified by rotating the knob. Increasing the second channel intensity from minus 10 dB will automatically turn the channel on. In the case of internal stored material, the playback can be started by pressing the play pause button on the upper left of the keyboard. To hear the patient repeating the words, especially if in the sound booth, the talkback function must be activated. Then, two buttons allow the measure of the patient score in repeating correctly the words. General buttons include the dB step setting from 1 to 5 and two keys to link the masking channel to the stimuli. Tracking is for maintaining the intensity gap, while lock is to synchronize the activation. On harp, it is possible to measure the standard WRS graph or alternatively the SRT, MCL and UCL thresholds. Press the function key to switch. Hi again, I hope you find the information here helpful in getting familiar with the speech audiometric exam on HARP audiometer. Now I think it's time to show you how easy would it be to run a test using HARP. Let's go!